So I've got this here drill and it still works, but it's not particularly useful because it's got this old NICAD battery and it's not compatible with anything else I've got. And I never know if it's charged or not. So we are gonna make this tool work with this. Now I've got a little adapter here that just slides on like so. And that gives me 18 volts out of my Milwaukee battery. So the trick is to make this the bottom of my adapter and make the top of this battery the top of my adapter. Now they're a little bit different shape, so that's going to be a fun adventure figuring out how exactly I'm going to make that work. And this tab here goes beyond the seam in the casing, so I'm going to have to cut this off and glue it. Otherwise, see there's these springs in here? That'll just throw the thing off. So, step one, let's open up the battery. Woo, what did I do? Well, we're having bad times with that one screw. It's probably got to do with how bad this bit is. It's made out of Chineseium. And I've taken this battery apart once before. Totally wrecked the bit. Anyways, let's, let's do this a little more gently. Helps when you're going the right way. There's the trick, you gotta pull on a bit of an angle. Hmm. This is the handle off one of them sticky hands. I just didn't want to have to go upstairs and get a rubber band. But that might be the solution. Let's try the most dried out rubber band in the world. Did that just do it? No, it didn't. It did fill our screw with gunk, though. At this point, I think this is smaller than a T9. So I'll just get a T9. That's actually going to bite. And that'll turn. And that'll turn. And that turn. Now how about this one? There we go. How are we doing? Noticeable signs of damage, and I've never used this T9 before. That's the kind of Chinese quality you can expect from where the heck did I buy these? Amazon? Anyways, back to our totally ruined T10. Let's see if we can turn them at all. Oh yeah, just not enough for that initial spin-off. So, never do things by hand if a machine will do it for you. Now I've had this apart before. There was a black coating all around this. I took it off just to, just to poke my eyes inside. So I need this piece here, that's going to go in here, that's going to be for the bottom of the drill. I also need this, it's just going to live like that. Once I put this in the bottom of the drill, I'm going to glue it in place, cut this off flush probably, and then we can forget all about this. Spring. So how are we attached on the bottom? Spot weld. So just pop that off. And we'll just use a wire snipper here. When I say wire snipper, I just mean these. I don't mean an actual tool. It's worth more than two dollars. Ta-da! And now what I should have checked is the polarity here. because I don't see it labeled. And I don't see it labeled in here, but you can just check right here which way is positive. 
that's positive. So that means this is plus and this is plus. So now we know who goes where. And this can just go in the bin, not the bin, the battery recycling bin. So here's how they did it back in the old days. Every cell is in series. None are in parallel. There's no fancy smart charger that controls how much power each cell gets during charging to make sure that nobody gets over voltage. You just kind of had to time it. Three to six hours of charging, they say. There's a lot more smarts in here. But the fun thing with the Milwaukee's is unlike most other major brands of tool batteries with lithium, they don't have the, the, the under voltage protection. So if your voltage drops too low, the protection isn't in the battery for the Milwaukee's, it's in the tool. Most other brands, it's in the battery. So we'll have to be careful, but this is a 12 amp hour. It's probably never gonna run out with this super cheap drill that I have here. This is for my chainsaw normally. So this guy will go in here like so. Beautiful. Now once that's soldered, I'm just going to glue it in place because it's not going to be a quality job, it just needs glue. Now which way do we want the battery? Well this is the back of the drill over here. And the button is on the back of the drill, so that would put us like this. Which is backwards from how most Milwaukee tools are with their batteries. Because if you look at an M12, here's the front of the tool, here's the front of the battery. The kind of stick out part is on the front. I don't have any other 18, M18 hand tools right now. So let's give it a little recreational idea. If I put it down here, would that fit? The screw posts would be in the way. But that would be in the way over here as well. There's not really any winning. Let's just see how it would look. I think that's fine. Something like that. This battery is made in 2012 and it's not even the original. This is a replacement, so I don't know how old the drill is. Probably 2008 or older. So, we'll put it in this way. Now, if only there were a nice way to make a bridge across here that I could affix this to. I'll come back and do some thinking. Alright, I figured out my basic concept. I took this plate, which was from the bottom of the battery shell, and I did a real beauty of a job taking this little end off here so that it would fit in here. Now this gets you almost the same level as these supports that barely touch this. So if I put this on top, I'm supported in both spots. And then I'm just going to glue it like crazy in here. Put this on the tool, and then I can glue the button in place once we're on the tool. So before even doing that, i got to cut a hole in this so I can get through to my wiring, which will go this way. Probably got to cut these down about halfway. Don't want to cut her down too far. Pass these through, hold it like that, and solder on. And this can come out, obviously, to make things easier to work on. So that's the next step now. So, where does my hole need to be? Right around there. We can be fairly vague, because this isn't too structural in the middle. So. Something like so, I think, would do the trick, eh? Now, I'm basically looking to, be, to just do a chain drilling sort of thing. These kits are impossible to get the bits out of. We're gonna do this elsewhere. None too far away. Forward. Woo! That's a little more violent than we needed. So we'll try a more intermediate size. And not get so brave and take so much material at once to do that. That's something. 
clamp her down a little better. Beautiful. So the wires will go through here and do their thing. Do I have that the right way? Yeah, what, what the heck way did I say I was going to do it this way, eh? Yeah, that way. So they pass through like so. Let's get a feel for how stupid that may or may not be. That puts this sitting on top of our ejector button. So that means I can't glue this until I glue this down, because this has to get glued once this is in the drill. Or, I extend my holes a little bit. Let's do that instead. Right, so here it is. Made the hole a little deeper this way. Fits through there, fits through there. Comes out this side. Red goes on the outside. So I don't have much room to work with here. I can't stuff too much of this wire back in. It'll be messy. Let's cut them here and hope for the best. And I got a solder right here too. I can't take this apart and solder. Or can I? Yeah, I can. Yeah, it's this that has to be on. That's a little less difficult then. These said 14 gauge on them, so take them at her word. Can we get our buddy to hold things? I think so. Oh, that's fun. Solder just rolls. Let's make that a little flatter. Yeah, it doesn't really stick too well. That's kind of annoying. All right, what can be done here? Well, these tabs can come out. So I don't have to worry about hurting the plastic. Let's do that. So the one that's got all the funniness on the bottom is the negative. We'll just have to remember that. Now how well does that stick? Good enough to pull it out of that. I'd give it a pass. Absorb. That's hot. All right, little testing checkpoint. We're gonna put the battery on before we get into gluing. Just make sure that there's actual action. And nothing. Battery's got three bars. Drill's doing squat. Why is that? Oh, there we go. It was going. Oh, that came out. So the key here is to not let those tabs float away. Sciencing really good. When you have contact, you have contact. 
That's the lesson here. Now this basically only needs to contact once. And I wonder, oh, I guess this little wall here probably holds these back. Let's ejecto and find out. It's a pretty firm grip that this little 3D printed thing from AliExpress has on the battery. $24 though. All right. That drops in to the place. This goes into the spot. And somehow that extra mess of wire has to get dealt with. That'll fold up nicely like that. Glue the whole thing. Check if I can push back on these. No, it barely pushes back. So that's what that's for. That wall was indeed to hold these back. Smart. But before we put it all together, this guy's got to go in. Now he doesn't have to get glued right away, but he has to be there before this piece gets glued. So, I read on the internet that hot glue is actually the best stuff for this. Believe it or not, I'm not sure if I do, but I'm going to try it. And then I'm going to clamp this in the vise and leave it overnight. Got to get it fairly straight. It's not going to be perfect. And I'm realizing now I'm not going to get it on the rail properly. Oh man, is my new glue stick a different diameter? I don't know how well that's going to hold up. definitely wants to come apart so I definitely have to clamp it for a little bit I am a little worried that by covering that bump here that'll interfere with the shape of the battery but we can cut that if we have to well I got all excited and I put it together and bonk I don't know if you can see that too well. That hits. Just by the slightest amount, three millimeters maybe. But that's okay. Because there's nothing else really in the way once we get this out of the way. So, to the grinder we go. I'm almost certain there's a hundred better ways to do this, but this is the way that I have chosen. Wish me luck. She's not pretty, but she fits, I think. Yeah, she fits. So I've got the hot glue gun plugged in, and the last step is to glue this guy in place once I get this on. And I'm kind of thinking maybe I should leave that out. Not glue it, because this won't fall out. And that way I could get at this if I need to put a different battery on. Yeah, maybe I just won't glue it. Good thinking, self. So, let's put this back on. And let's put this on. And there we have it. She's a beaut.